Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. <laughs>
Well, I get up and have a coffee. You know, it's only about 10% of them are up walking around, making a whole pile of noise. But there are a whole bunch that are sleeping, which I have no idea how they're doing it. Hello everybody and welcome to the Duck Adventure for October the 14th. And today we're going to do something, uh, well, similar to yesterday, except that I'm going to be the one on the lake. I'm going down there to, uh, I'm going to have a boat out in the middle of the lake this time to get a shot down the, uh, the creek. And uh, Colin is going to be up here and he's going to let the ducks out. But I'm going down to set up. And first thing I'm going to do, because Doug, uh, Doug, the, I got to take Doug to the vet today and get some uh, laser treatment on his shoulder. He's got a wicked limp. The poor dog is uh, really hurting. I think yesterday uh, when Colin and I went down to the, uh, down to the lake, he was running like a madman through the uh, swamp doing predator uh, patrol. And I think he hit a swamp or hit a uh, stump or something. Because uh, Colin and I couldn't believe it last night. The dog was, you know, was, he was crippled. And this morning, uh, I actually had to help him down the stairs. So he really wants to come out right now. I, I, yesterday, I made him spend the whole day in the house. But uh, I'm going to take him to the vet today. So we're not going to let Doug out today. So I'm going to go down to the swamp. I'm going to set off an aerial grenade so that, uh, you know, the swamp's clear. Uh, that we don't have to worry about anything. And then uh, Colin's going to let the ducks out. I'm going to be out in the lake. And we're going to get some awesome footage of them coming uh, straight down the creek. And, uh, you know, some, something unique for the duck adventure today. So... I'm going to head down to the swamp. All right, the ducks are seriously wound up here. It's a gorgeous day. They've had me up since all this Muscovia skate, the little girl. The, uh, I wonder if we have any down at the lake already that have flown down. They seem to not want to wait for me. It was, it's an absolutely, absolutely gorgeous day. It's already like 18 degrees Celsius. Um, and today's supposed to be like something like 25 degrees, so... This is uh, probably the very last day that we'll see anything in the 20s for, you know, being fall. But it's, uh, it's just beautiful out. All right, we're going to go down here, do a quick recon. I'm more concerned, uh, I, you know, I don't think I'm going to get a shot off. I'm not even anticipating. I just want to clear the swamp so that Colin uh, doesn't have to worry about anything. And we can just uh, focus on getting this awesome footage of the ducks coming down uh, the creek. Because I'm uh, after yesterday realizing that I, that I put Colin in the wrong place on the lake, I actually had him uh, too far to the right. So, all right, I think, uh, and, it, and now walking down here because the vegetation from the ducks drilling it out, um, and it's starting to rot. Everything's rotting. Uh, it's an actual. It's it's <laughs> there's holes everywhere. All right. It's looking like it's clear. I don't see any Muscovies already out here. I, the ducks are going nuts behind me. I think today is going to be just an epic fast rush. I can't believe how loud they are behind me right now. You guys got to be hearing this. Okay, I'm going to set the grenade off here. Get this happening. Oh, I thought I saw something there. Well, if there's anything down here, it's gone. All right, let's get this awesome rush happening. It's gonna be good, the ducks are wound up. Like seriously wound up, so. Let's go and uh, I'm gonna go out and get in position and uh, Colin's gonna do the uh, gate opening and I just wanna show you something here. The ducks follow me down. They move to this end of the pen to follow me to go to the creek. They're like little dogs. <laughs> Actually, they remind me of Doug. Doug does that in the house. He follows me around the windows when I'm outside. And the ducks are doing the same thing. They're so silly. Of course, we got a crazy wind here, so I'm hoping the anchor's gonna hold me in place. Uh, Colin's up there right now. Actually, we can just give, I'll give you a quick shot here. You can actually see him. Oh, wow, well, yeah, there he is. He's gonna open. Uh, we're gonna get the rush here. So
Craig Collins let them out. You can see the ducks. There they are. So it's going to be interesting. They're really wound up tight tonight. Uh, it's actually because it's so nice. Like I said, they've had me up since I think it was 3.12 when they woke me up this morning. So. He's, uh, he's letting them do their uh, their little circle they do in the yard. I can't believe how loud they are. Uh, you can hear them down here. Right now the highway is really quiet, so... Oh, there they come. Hopefully the wind keeps me in position here. But right now it's blowing in the right direction with the anchor dragon that I'm... It looks like they're coming. I don't see any more ducks in the yard. It looks like they've left the yard. Man, that was fast. You know, I thought I was going to have to do a whole bunch of editing after uh, we let them out waiting here, but the ducks are performing. Now, hopefully with me out here on the lake, it doesn't cause a jam up and then freak out and go back on us. All right, we're cooperating. Standing in a shaky boat here, guys, so bear with me. I'm trying to do the best I can for you. Oh, this is awesome. That's some serious uh, enthusiastic ducks coming to the lake. Oh, 
Uh, they're veering off the side. I wonder if it's because of me being here. The wind is turning me. There's a good horde back there. Look at that. Look at them coming. I'm gonna try to get a lower. Sorry about the shaking, guys. I'm gonna get a good shot for you. Isn't that awesome looking? I'm trying to stay in the, in the optical zoom here. Yeah, they're, uh, they are they do not like me out here. Oh, okay, there's some scobies coming. Turning the boat here, the wind's turning the boat on me. That was a fast rush. Look at that duck go. Oh, look at them. They're in height. Well, look, look at it at the back. There's some stragglers back there. Look how excited they are. The geese are going crazy. Sorry about the bad camera here. The wind is really screwing me up. Yeah, they're not coming out here where they normally fish in the morning because I'm sitting here with the boat. I was going to bring the canoe out, but I, I thought, you know, because the other day with the aluminum boat, they didn't have a problem. the wind is carrying their noise away so we're not getting you know the full echo off the trees here now they got some serious pent-up energy from being in the pen all night
what an awesome view. Well guys, I think these are some seriously spoiled ducks and geese. Wow, you imagine if all our food could live this happy? The world would be such a better place. Oh. Sorry about that, the wind's uh, turning me really quick here, I had to move the camera. If we didn't have the wind, uh, we'd have some really good echo off the trees. Gorgeous. Even with a defective wing. He almost looks like a swan. This is crazy how good this is. Yesterday I had fallen too far over into the bulrushes. There's, there's the man. He's the duck releaser today. Depending on what time I get back from the vet today with Doug, I wonder, uh, it's supposed to rain this afternoon. They're talking like a 70% chance we're going to have rain uh, because it's so warm. So if it isn't raining this afternoon and I get back in time from the vet uh, with Doug, I'm going to come out here and shoot some extended uh, extended uh, footage for you guys. And we're going to just uh, get some uh, lake action happening because it's uh, you know, 25 degrees. It was a nice day to be sitting out here in the lake. The wind is moving me all over here. It's keep the camera pointed for you guys. And you know, it just, it's almost like it's the first time I've ever been to the lake. You know, they're so excited. What another awesome morning rush. That all the panning I'm doing right now guys is from the wind. The wind's moving the boat around here. Oh, a little too fast there, slow down wind. This wind is crazy here. I'm just moving back. I'm not moving at all. I'm actually holding completely still. This is the boat being whipped around in the wind.
Yeah, they don't want to come out near me here or where they're not. This is where they normally uh, fish for the minnows in the morning, so I'm screwing the ducks up here by being out here in the boat. Colin here uh, helping me with this. Uh, this is the only way this was going to be pulled off because there's no way uh, the way you know the speed these guys are uh, of me opening the gate and running down here to the lake and getting in the boat and getting out here and throwing the anchor, getting set up to catch them because they're they're coming down to the lake way too quick. For, well, they they just hands down would beat me here. So without Colin being here, uh, this footage would not be possible. And Dean, thanks for the idea. So the duck adventure, you know, so if it wasn't for the subscribers, you know, giving me the ideas and, and a crazy subscriber coming here to help, uh, this wouldn't happen. What an awesome rush. Oh, they're coming over to me. Get spooked, and of course, you know, one gets spooked, they all get spooked. There's a whole bunch of them over there on the, uh, the right hand side of the creek. There, they've destroyed that area there. Uh, I, I, I couldn't believe when I was over there yesterday or the other day with the uh, looking, and then like I had to go in there and you know. You know, use the anchor to yank the boat up on the, uh, you know, that area when I was cutting it with the bulrushes. And now uh, I can actually, you know, loom the boat, I can actually drive it right up in there. Just clean the dog off too. Every single day. I, I have to clean the dog off twice a day. No, the wind's getting really nasty. Alright, the wind's moving me here. <laughs> oh, they're uh, you know, I'll give you they're going farther down the lake. They're going down to that spot they like down there. I can't even pan back fast enough, the wind's turning me here so fast. It's so neat watching them down here. Alright guys, I'm gonna go have my breakfast because I'm actually, I'm really hungry. I've had my, uh, <laughs> I've had my three cups of coffee. Uh, I finally gave up there and got out of bed at uh, 4.35 and said I couldn't do it anymore. I was laying there and the ducks were just too much noise. Geese honking. Colin actually heard them uh, and he thought it was sort of neat. But unfortunately my bedroom window faces the dock pen so um, I couldn't sleep. So tonight's going to be an early night for Matt because uh, you know three o'clock waking up, you don't last very long at night. So I'm going to go have my breakfast. And uh, Colin's leaving today, so unfortunately, uh, you know, we, we, well, we, I don't think we'll be able to do this shot again. And unless uh, I'm going to give it a try tomorrow, I'm going to see if I can run down here and, and beat the ducks. I got a hunch, no, it's not going to happen though, because they're just too fast. Um, I can't believe how fast they are. Actually, it's blowing me away. Uh, they, they're beating last year's ducks hands down for rushes to the lake, like hands down. I, I it, it's. It's crazy how fast the ducks are this year coming down here. So, but that's the morning rush. I think it was pretty cool. I'm gonna get down here and uh, convince the duckies to go into the water, and I'll try and get uh, get the dock cleaned up so we can come back and not have to slip.
you will never find animals as happy as these ducks. They were in a serious rush to come see you. It was a stampede. Well, not a stampede, but freight train for sure. I couldn't believe how fast they were. They flew me away. I, like, I watched them come down, and then I could see them turn and start heading to down here. Yeah. It was like, uh, it was quick. I was trying to get out and get some of those ones that were stuck in the mouth of the creek there. You're right. Holy moly. Oh, yeah, it's, it's destroyed now. My feet are sore. <laughs> Just from trying to stay balanced on all that stuff. That's a good workout. Yeah. It is, isn't it? And the holes, you can't, like I said, you can't go over the right anymore. No. But uh, see, now they're going out. They wouldn't go out there because I was out there in the boat. Oh yeah, because they could see you. Yeah. But uh, awesome footage. I'm actually looking forward to going back to the house and uh, put the card in and watching it because I, I it was awesome coming down. I got it all. I got the the two Muscovies that kept staying back. Yeah. Uh, they would. They always seem to drill into the ladder. Sorry. No, I'm gonna get the camera here. Okay. Um, they'd always drill underneath the ladder. And then they'd walk down a little bit and there's that log that goes across. Yep. And you can tell they're just sitting there and they're watching, they're waiting for everyone to go around the corner. And I got it all recorded. I said, oh, they're, they're getting ready to fly. They squat down, and here they go. Line and just them. all the way through. I got it perfect. I, as soon as they, they came around, just came around the corner, then they, you could see them above the bulrushes. Yeah. And I got them coming right in. And I got them right until the bulrushes. Well, it's gonna be, uh, this is awesome. Put it, put it. Well, I'm back at the dock. And of course, now the ducks go out where I was. Now they're fishing. It's really a shame about the wind today. It's carrying all the quacking away. You don't really get the, you know, the magnitude of what's going on down here. The awesomeness. And I tell you, this year's duck adventure rocks. It's so exciting catching this cool footage like this. I'm so glad that Colin and I didn't do the call in. And I'm, and I'm, you know, I'm setting everything up and getting everything organized. Which this weekend I really helped having Colin here getting set up. You know, getting all the bugs worked out of how I'm going to do this. I'm in no rush to, to call guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna milk the duck adventure this fall as long as we can for you guys. So, because uh, this is just too awesome. And, uh, like I said, I'm gonna try tomorrow to get uh, this footage again. We'll see how, how, how I succeed in a one-man show running down to the swamp. Right on. All right, uh, Paul and I are gonna go and have our breakfast. And uh, we're gonna watch this footage because I'm really curious on uh, what it looks like. Because, you know, I'm basically filming in Braille on a little three inch screen here because I'm a blind old guy. Hello everyone, I just got back from uh, the uh, physiotherapy for, uh, physiotherapist I should say, for Doug. Um, I'm gonna head down to the lake. I, I've missed the whole day. It's about five o'clock right now. Ducks haven't come back yet, but I do wanna show you the Muscovies. Uh, Mo and his girls are now, you know, going down uh, to the swamp area. I guess they don't like the, uh, you know, the yard up here. I don't know. It's bizarre. Mo's down there. I don't know where'd he go there. He's just on the other side there. Where is he? Just over there. He's gone behind that little knoll there. Then we got some Pekings right down there. So I'm going to head down to the docks, see how the ducks are doing, see what's going on down there. Um, Dougie uh, got some laser treatment on his shoulder and his back of his neck. So uh, I, got, I got him in the house uh, so he can get some rest. I, the last two days, uh, well, Colin, the last two days Colin was here, I kept Doug inside ever since he hurt his shoulder there on Sunday. So the uh, physiotherapist recommended they at least get a 24-hour rest period after the treatment. 
to uh, you know give it his uh, the blood circulation time to get in there and get into the soft tissue. So once they uh, you know the the, duck, the everything freezes up and the duck you know the call's done and the duck adventures you know the outdoor part the crazy part uh, winds down. Doug will uh, you know I'll, he'll have some R and R and he'll get better this winter. It's just that you know that injury that he had uh, from you know when I adopted him uh, with all the uh, the crazy activity that's going on here because you know Doug's life has been just nuts. Uh, you know, my life's been nuts actually, but uh, the both of us have been going crazy here um, and working really hard at this. And but Doug is, uh, you know, he he entered this whole game uh, with a disability, so he's at a disadvantage. Even though he's a real trooper, and you'd never tell when he, you know, when he turns on the steam, he just blanks out the pain and goes. So let's go down to the dock. Okay, since I came around the corner, the Muscovies took off off the dock. So let's go down and see what the little duckies are doing. Actually, the ducks are all uh, along the shoreline here. Hello ducks! Oh, look at that! That's unbelievable! I've never seen a ruin fly that good! Colin, you were right! I thought maybe you were a little bit glue in there. That white neck uh, ruin can fly! They're not supposed to be able to fly that good. That is bizarre because she's crossed with a peaking. Here, I'm going to try to get zoomed in so you guys can see her. That right there, there she is. She actually flew. That's crazy. One of those, uh, you know, all the ducks are down at this end. Actually, the dock is really clean. Oh, they're congregating. They must be going to head home here soon. Now it is getting really windy, uh, so you know that might be a factor here causing the ducks to, you know, want to head home. Hello, ducks! Come on over! It's just me! Hello! That was really neat to see that ruin fly. I have never seen a ruin fly before like that. And the way she flew it all, she almost looked a little bit Muscovish. I think uh, it looks like they're heading down the creek here. Yeah, it looks like they're heading down the creek. It is five o'clock, so. This is the, you know, around the time of night that they do this, where they head home. But, you know, me being here, usually they come over and they say hi. Hello, ducks! Come on! Hello! Hello, ducks! Well, they're coming back out of the creek, so they might come over. Hello! Hello! Oh, they might, they might come over to see us here. Oh, I should say come over to see me, really. Come on, ducks! Hello! Hello! I know, I was supposed to come down this afternoon, but I had to take Doug to the vet. As if they understand me. Poor Dougie. He's had a hard time. Colin saw how bad it was there. The last two days, the poor dog, uh, his shoulder was actually sideways. So I've kept him like locked up. 
And today, when actually, when he got the laser treatment, uh, he was such a sweetie. He was licking the physiotherapist's face. He was really in love with her. It was so, and she just couldn't believe what a suck he was for you know such a giant dog. And and then after he got the treatment, uh, he was laying on the floor to get the treatment, and he just started stretching. And I haven't seen him stretch like that in days. So that laser stuff is amazing, uh, you know, to get the blood circulating because uh, you know he was stretching and then he was trying to climb the wall and it was like it was like he wasn't even hurt anymore. So this winter, uh, you know, once the lake freezes over and the duck adventure is not a you know a crazy uh, you know predator fest, uh, Doug will he'll be under lock and key and we'll get him uh, some bi-weekly. Uh, treatments and we'll get that shoulder of his fixed up next spring he'll be as good as new it doesn't look like they're just going to come over now, something tells me I should go and get in the tree and of course tonight it's nice and windy to be in the tree too And actually, it's extremely windy to be in the tree. Yeah, they're not coming over. I thought they would. All right, well, no use wasting our time down here. You know, if we're not wanted, I, I can take rejection. So I'll go down to the, uh, the uh, edge of the swamp there on the tree and, you know, Chances are, you know, based on previous experience, you know, when I come back, they come back. So let's go take a look. Well, people, it's crazy windy. Um, if this ladder wasn't chained to the tree, I'll just show you. I've got it. It's tied and it's chained. And I'm, uh, I'm connected with a double rope. So, and if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be up here. Um, now the ducks just came down partway down the creek. And then they turn back. I've got the shotgun on my back. It's a little bit of a, 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 a stretch here with buckshot. Uh, you know, aim about a foot high. I, I could hit if there was something down there. Be a little bit bigger spread than I'm used to, and uh, you know, the much higher risk of having uh, collateral damage with a, you know, a shot from this distance. I don't. I, I forgot to load the slugs. I just came straight up here because I knew the ducks uh, would come back as soon as I come back. So, but right now, Mo is uh, down there with his females they're right there and uh, then there's the four peakings there's three there and then one there so but Mo's only got two females so this isn't a good thing that means he's missing some but the fact that Mo's down here is really strange Considering they have spent their, you know, the whole summer on the yard, so. But right now, let me see. Uh, oh, the ducks look like they're coming. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's that's wind is crazy. All right, guys, that moving? <laughs> that's the wind. It looks like they're coming. They're so predictable, you know, I go down there and, uh, oh, okay. I go down there and then they come back. Sorry about that, guys, with the bad camera here, but the wind is whipping me around here in the tree. And actually, if a coyote showed up, we wouldn't get it on film, but I could definitely get a couple shots off from up here. Come on, ducks. Come on home. Yeah, they're still gun shy from last weekend. Or last week there with the coyote hunt. That coyote really screwed their brains up. All right, well, I'll turn the camera back on when they show up. Yeah, they're taking their time here. I'm gonna go up one more run on the ladder. 
it seems to make a big difference here for the the view here sorry about that jumping around guys i'm dealing with a really strong wind all that back and forth action is the, is the tree moving Come on, ducks. There's Goose Lee. I can't zoom because I'm hanging on with my with one hand just to keep my, myself steady here. And it's not too steady on the camera, actually. It's so warm out right now, it feels like summertime. Okay, the ducks are going back again. What's going on? And the thing is, I forgot to charge the pivot heads today, so I, I don't even have a full charge if I have to go down there and, you know, hunt in the swamp. I wasn't thinking too far ahead today, I tell you. I'm a little bit off my game here with Colin being here this weekend. I'm not used to having a co-star. All right, I'll turn it back on when something happens or they show up. Okay, it looks like they're coming. Oh, they're turning around again. No, they're getting, they're getting out of the water. Maybe we're going to be lucky and nothing's going to be down there. We'll just have a clean rush home tonight. Be nice if we had a big herd, horde, I mean, uh, coming home. Okay, they're going back out here. I tell you what, guys, I'm I'm gonna um, I'm gonna run in and get the pivot heads, even though uh, the battery's not fully charged. Throw my camo shirt on and go down there just in case. Okay, guys, I gotta conserve battery, so I won't turn it on until I get down there. All right, the ducks are definitely spooked. Well. I'm here in the water again, and we'll wait. Okay, the ducks have gone completely back out to the lake. They've left the creek completely. Something's freaking them out. Okay, guys, the ducks, they're at the mouth of the creek, and they keep turning back. And of course, I'm in water up to my knees again. It's about two degrees warmer because of today with being so nice. Okay guys, the ducks came down and then they turned around again. This is uh this is like exactly what happened that night. At least the water's a little warmer. Okay, the ducks are coming for another run at it. exactly where they were the night of the attack.
right down. I think whatever was here is left. Looks like they're pretty relaxed coming home. Oh. Okay, they just got spooked. They're coming again. Oh, Miss Kobe's gonna fly home. Oh, that's so cool. No, they're going back again.
That's bizarre. I heard a snap of a branch and then the ducks went back. Alright, I'll turn the camera back on when they come back. Okay, the ducks are at the mouth of the creek. Now I'm really hidden tonight in the bulrushes. Because the wind's blowing in the wrong direction, so I'm trying to keep myself completely hidden. side of the creek and then turning back. Turn the camera back on, guys, when they're coming back. Okay, guys, the ducks just went totally quiet and took off like a bat out of hell. Like absolute silence and then took off. Well, people, the ducks have completely taken off. And now I'm sitting in the swamp all by myself and not a sign of any. Okay, people, the ducks just reappeared at the, the mouth of the creek. I don't know if you can see that. They're being really cautious. I'll turn the camera on when they get farther down the uh, creek. The ducks keep coming to the mouth of the creek, getting really quiet, and then going back out to the lake. It's like there's, it's like there's something at the mouth of the creek. And I'm too far back to get a shot at the mouth of the creek. I'll turn the camera back on when they get farther down the creek. This is crazy tonight. They're super skittish. Okay, the ducks are coming farther down the creek. This is ridiculous tonight. And it's not like they're afraid of, th of me because they're, they're staying on this side of the creek and avoiding the other side of the creek. Seriously nervous. And they keep getting out of the creek and coming towards me on the land. It's like they're afraid of right over there, that area is where they're afraid. 
gonna fly home. Well, that was nerve wracking. I don't believe what they just put me through. Well, that was just crazy. I went through all of that and nothing showed up. And the thing is, is like they weren't worried about my side of the creek because they actually got out of the water and were walking towards me. They were staying away from the other side of the creek. And the thing is, is like the wind was blowing to my back, so it definitely, on the other, if it was on the other side of the creek, it definitely could smell me. But I know one thing, tomorrow I'm building a little place in here for me to sit because I'm, I'm absolutely soaked here, I'll show you. I'm soaked and I'm cold and my knees hurt. The things I do for the duck adventure. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well that was just all oh, my knees are killing me now guys. Oh man, I tell you when your when your knees bent in cold water that long, I don't know how long it was. I'm gonna have to look at the timestamps on the uh, the files, but I know they left me in that water an awful long time tonight. It felt longer than the other time. I didn't record it this time because I didn't know if the battery was going to last, so I kept turning the battery off and the camera off on the pivot heads because uh, Colin used the pivot heads this morning and I didn't put, plug them back into charge, so I didn't want to take a chance of you know, getting a, a shot off and having the, you know, the battery die. That would have just sucked. So, anyways, I got to go up. I gotta do chores because I, I didn't do chores this morning because Colin was here and then I had to you know go take Doug to physio so oh oh my knees are sore all right guys well I got the ducks home safe and uh, nothing uh, eventful happened sorry well it's just starting to sprinkle rain it's about 6 30 and uh, the ducks are wound right out here um, and I I, I'm missing a lot of ducks. Oh man, it's bad. But the ducks are wound out here. It's so nice out right now. Believe it or not, it's 6.30, what, October the 14th today, and it's 26 degrees right now, Celsius. So for my American followers, that's like 78, 80 degrees. That's like crazy warm weather for this part of the world. So, but the duckies are, uh, they're home. There was no action on the uh, rush home. Which really, you know, was sad. I, would, I really wanted to pull the trigger, guys. But I, uh, I, I made a, um, a little uh, hiding spot in there and I took down a cedar log to sit on so, because I'm, I got soaking wet again. And, and thankfully, because it's so warm right now, the water uh, down in the swamp was actually a little bit warmer. So I didn't get, re my knees aren't as sore tonight as they were uh, the last time. That night, my knees got really sore. The water was a little colder. So. I've got a spot to hide now and I actually busted the bulrushes down and made a trail so that I can uh, actually get into my hiding spot without walking around uh, and being exposed to the creek so that if the uh, coyote is there he's not going to see me. That's if he's, you know, the wind's not blowing my back and he's totally focused on uh, the ducks. So the next time uh, we get a duck scare, uh, you know, predator scare, scare, I mean, on the rush home, I'll... Uh, I've got a spot to go to that uh, that I can actually sit on a log and um, you know watch, and I think it'll be better view too with the camera because I'm going to be uh, looking through the tops of the bulrushes, and then I can stand up quick and take a shot. It'll, I actually think it'll be a better shot. So, so I've got a spot now, which you know once again. On the Duck Adventure, the learning curve, I should have built a spot in there like that before. You know, live and learn here on this thing. So, but the ducks are home and everything seems to be safe. And, uh, and it's a beautiful night. They've had me up since 
Well, it was three three twelve, but I got out of bed. At, I think it was four thirty five. I finally gave in and uh, and uh, got out of bed. So I'm uh, I'm gonna have an early night tonight, and hopefully, uh, well, I got a hunch they're gonna wake me up early again because tomorrow is supposed to be another warm day. It's supposed to only go down to like something like. 14 or 16 degrees tonight so it's going to be a really warm night so that means it's going to be an all-night kager for the ducks they're already uh kagging it right now it's so nice out they're not uh they're not remotely interested in going into the pan it's unbelievably nice but it, this happens every year you know october you get that that really weird day you know that uh, it just it's just really nice and warm it's a refreshing change from uh dirty weather so this is not the weather you want to be doing a cull in and actually, when Colin and I were talking about that, uh, the flies would drive you nuts. Plus, the flies, you know, uh, you, you, know you, you cull a duck and you clean it and you pluck it and then you put it, you know, you, before you even put it in the bag, it's covered in flies. So, uh, this is actually the worst, worst weather you could ask for to do a cull. Just far too warm. So, worked out good. But, uh, you know, we ended up not doing it. So, and by the way, Colin and I, um, I've eaten the last pepperette.